Hey everybody, welcome back to another create tutorial. It is currently storming out, so if you hear thunder, don't be alarmed. That's just ha what's happening right now. Today we're going to go over the move tool in Krita, which is similar to the free transform, only we're simply just moving whatever's in our layers to different part of the canvas. So as with most of the options in Krita, you have your tool options when you select the move tool, which is right between the free transform and the crop tool has a four-way arrow here. To start with, we're going to uh, keep the move current layer selected and go to our layers. So it doesn't really matter which one you have selected, but this layer that I have selected is the one I'm going to move. So I just click and drag and I can move it wherever I want. And I can hit enter or I can just click off to the side and it deselects it. The move layer with content it's a little more interesting. As you can see, I'm going to zoom in just so we can see a little bit better. I have this icon that shows up with a circle and a line through it. Nothing's there. I can't click on it. If I go to move current layer, I have that icon there that says the tool's uh, activated. Again, move layer with content. It's not. And this is because it's looking for a layer with content in it. Because this is all empty space right here, it's not going to say there's a layer here you can move. Even though technically there might be some space here on that layer. For example, if we click on it again, there's this border with the current layer. Even though this is part of that layer, it's not actually any content that we can use to move around. So if I go to here, I'm gonna show you my layers. This layer, this color layer, is all the way down here, even though I have this layer selected. If I click on that color, I and I drag it, I'm actually moving this layer with content, even though it's not my current layer. So this is pretty helpful if you just need to move something really quick, you don't want to go through your 50 layers, which a lot of people wind up having at some point, including present company, <laughs> you can just move this around. So this line art was also on the color layer, because I was on the wrong layer, but I just went with it. So I left that, put that back where it was, but if I want the line art, only and not the color, I just can click on any spot that has a line art. In this case, the mouth has the most um, black line art that I can click easily, so I can just click on that and drag. As you can see, I'm still on a completely different layer, but still able to move whatever the, um, that content is. And that's helpful again if you just have a ton of different layers or sketches and stuff that I often do, you just want to move one thing around. Alright, so we're going to do the, the move whole group. So what that's going to do is going to move everything, all your layers, so that they're visible or not. For example, this is unhidden, but I'm going to hide it so we can see it's kind of in proportion to the line art here. I'm going to move this to the left, and that kind of goes with it. If I don't want that layer to be moved, I just have to turn the, light, the lock on here, and then I can move this without affecting any of the hidden layers. And then move shortcut. So this is if you want to do very specific moves with the whatever it is option that you have, the selection mode. I'm just going to do move layer with content. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to actually move this. And turn to inches and hit 2. Make sure this is selected. And with my arrow keys, I can move it 2 inches to the left or the right. So if you're doing precise documents or you need something in a very specific position on your um, illustration or whatever it is you're making, you can just set up via inches, centimeters, millimeters, whatever, and say I want to move it two inches to the left or the right, depending on which arrow key you use. And it works the same with the up and down arrow key. Alright, and then we have position. And this is, I think we've gone over this before, where you can just, I think it's the um, creating some of the shapes or the transform tool, you can put a very specific position that you want. It's going to be um, the top leftmost corner that's going to reference for the X and the Y. So just to keep that in mind, that's where it's going to use its position starting point. So if you want it to be at 800, I put 800 in here and this leftmost top leftmost corner is going to be aligned with 800 pixels right here on the rulers. That's just if you need something in a very specific spot on the canvas and you've already matched it with something else. 
and then show coordinates on the canvas. So if I were to move this around, you can see this box shows up in the left hand side and it shows me the exact dimensions or the exact position of where this is based on the left corner. So we want this to go to 400, you can line that left corner with the 400 there, it's pretty close, not exact, but close enough, but you can always go back and change it too. There. And that's pretty much it for the move tool. It's for, pretty simple. It's much better than it used to be in the past. It was pretty slow and wasn't very great to move things around with, but it's improved a lot over the years. So if you need to move something around, you're doing a lot of sketches, don't want to click all these different layers, this is a really good option to make your life easier when you're moving stuff around. <laughs> All right, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.